Welcome to another exciting time and daily top 10 where we bring you details about all the happenings in the entertainment world. At number 10, Ashaka hints on plans of a bigger venue for his concert. Rave of the moment and Nigeria's successful Afrobeat singer and songwriter Ahmed Ololadi, professionally known as Ashaka, who is currently on a music tour, has hinted on plans of a bigger venue for his music concert after selling out three dates for the O2 Arena Brixton in a few minutes. Ashaka, who has become the first African artist to sell a Birmingham O2 Arena three times in one day, in a tweet said, and I quote, I am so sorry for underestimating your love for me. I know three days sold out already in London, but not enough. So therefore, I'll be doing a bigger venue ASAP to make it up to you all. Dates to be announced soon. End of quote. Hmm. An Auto Arena movie? Maybe or maybe not. Fingers crossed for updates on Daily Top 10. At number 9, makeup artist Hakimi Fekt clears air on Ali Kulakpo controversial scene. Newly released Nigerian epic film Ali Kulakpo, produced by one of Nigeria's most celebrated filmmakers, Kulia Folayo, has since its release stirred controversies for the sex scene played by Bimbo Ademoye and Kule Remy as it is regarded as over revealing. The film's makeup and effect artist Hakimi Fekt has now opened up on the major detail of the controversial scene. In a post shared on his Facebook page, he said, and I quote, Took my team and I hours to get this done. Prosthetic boobs. Our slogan is stretching your imagination. End of quote. Mm, you say I'm doing me fun and want to shut up with Afera. Uh-huh. Habi, Feo Ribi, Omo Koinu, or Shirewa. Be a wash shore. Bubu, you want to say, Kami, Kami, Kami. See you, Okonwa, Diwala. Okonino, Dagon, Nyami. Who saw for me, put in if you're more cooling now? Yummy. Palo Remo. At number 8, Mick Mill reaches out to David O for a music collaboration. American rapper Mick Mill has in a Twitter post reached out to Nigerian Afrobeat star David O for a collaboration. In his tweet, he said, and I quote, I'm getting lots of calls from Africa. Let's make it work, David O. We were supposed to make it happen, but we was mad at each other a little bit around that time. End of quote. Responding to his tweet, David O said, Mick will not tell him to call me. End of quote. Cruise here and there. We're definitely patient to see it happen. At number 7, Elon Musk agrees to purchase Twitter at original price. After a series of campaigns, conversations, and controversies, surrounding its sale process, South African-born American business magnate and investor Ellen Reeve Mosk is now set to purchase top social media platform Twitter after agreeing to the original $54.2 per share price, which values the company at $44 billion. Sharing details of the sales after necessary measures taken, Twitter, through its Twitter investor relations, said, and I quote, We received a letter from the Mosk parties, which they have filed with the SEC. The intention of the company is to close the transaction at $54.20 per share. At number 6, Wanda Banton postpones release date of his new song, Eagle. You will recall that in our most recent episode of Daily Top 10, we shared with you details of the release date of the new song by Nigerian Afro dancer artist Wanda Banton, whose Ego song was originally slated for a release on Wednesday, October 5. Take it to his Instagram handle to share the news about the postponement of the release date for the song that features David O. He said, and I quote, Unfortunately, we have to postpone the release of Ego. My team and I thank you for the tremendous support. I did update you. At number 5, Black Bones announces release dates for new album Young Preacher. Famous Nigerian rapper Black Bones that is signed to 100 Crown, an imprint of Chocolate City, has announced details of his forthcoming album, which makes it his second album. Announcing the details on his Instagram page, he said, and I quote, My second album, Young Preacher, drops October 28th, first single this Friday. He also shared a colorful picture on his Twitter page that reveals that J5 is on the soon-to-be-released song, Back in Uni. All the hearts are broken, lucky. Only got feet to protect me. All the lies I told them, girlies. Goddamn, I'm way too reckless. My girlfriend way back in uni Something she'll never know Oh, oh Lord, I did her dirty Something she'll never G5. know hey. Big bank takes little bank It's the law of the jungle hey. The girl, you want money when I call You know she gon' come to Yeah, you know these hoes ain't loyal Shit, none of my bros ain't loyal So, who be this hoe made for you? So what's poppin' now? Me never let them get in my medulla. Yeah. Man's been bad since early now. They say my gospel's uncircular.
At number four, Social Super Recon sues Harry Song for defamation. Nigerian music executive Social Super Recon has responded to Harry Song's assault claims in a 500 million naira defamation lawsuit. The lawsuit, which requests an immediate retraction, an apology, and payment of 500 million naira for damages, was served after Harry Song disclosed that Soso had attempted an assault on him. Harry Song, in a recent interview, accused the music executive of assault and attempted murder. Talking about industry friends, he said, and I quote, You think Soso is my friend? But well, Soso is not my friend. He's my enemy. He wants to kill me. He sent people to come kill me in Port Harcourt. End of quote. Hmm. Wahala, here and there. I left my egg bed house, three bedroom flats with question mark. Pay for me, that furnish. Yes. Kevin Luciano, that's my boss. Every day. I left that house to come and stay with Casey at Omole Face 2. Now, there we go day. Casey, if they sleep, I go the, me, I go the right, the record. Do everything for him. Casey came to, to uh, a Balogun bus stop to beg me to, 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 to write for him. I believe in that time they were Casey Press and trying to break up. I was the one that, that spoke to and begged uh, Del B to believe in Casey. You understand? But after the whole thing, when he blew up and I needed to at least fend for myself, get something for myself, because mm. I don't live my whole life for you. You know, grieve me to go. But when he come into that contact, he said, I didn't make me. Uh-huh. He said, he made me. <laughs> so months ago, we're there. No, if you see Soso now, you go say Soso now, my friend, Abi. Wow. Soso is not my friend. He's my enemy. He wants to kill me. He sent people to come and kill me in Portacot. No jokes. This is no joke. Ask my team. Ask wait, everyone. wait. I'm sorry. You know we are dropping names right now. Do you have evidence yes. of this? I have because evidence. Because dropping names is actually I have big. evidence. Exactly. I have videos. I have pictures. Because dropping, you see it, dropping mm, names. No joke. This is no joke. Dropping you will say he's my friend. He's not my friend. He, he's, he wants to kill me. No, 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 no. Harry, Harry. At number three, Tory Lanez hints on a possible 24 years jail term. Canadian rapper and singer Tory Lanez has disclosed more details about his upcoming criminal trial by Megan Thee Stallion, which has now been postponed to the later part of the year. The Canadian rapper who was accused of shooting at Megan Thee Stallion in July 2020 in an interview said, and I quote, I am in an open case and maybe I made this really beautiful. I'm facing 24 years next month and this is no play situation. End of quote. There is a time and a place, brother, when for those people who I do not know and do not owe any explanation will get an explanation. How do you have the patience? Like, how do you? I don't know. I've never been a patient guy. You know what I'm saying? But I will tell you this. I've always been a time and place guy. And that's why I said, like, you know, even in in my last interview, you know, the narrative can be against me. But it's the narrative that's against me. And it's me, like you're saying, it's me not defending myself. In a lot of instances, in a lot of situations, what a lot of people don't realize is one thing connects to another. And when you start talking about one thing, people then connect it to something else. And sometimes, most of the time, those things have no correlation to each other. And so because of that, it's like you avoid it in, in, in its entirety because it's not the time and place. You know what I'm saying? And like, that's just wisdom. That's not about me trying to be too cool or me being like, yo, I'm too cool to give y'all the answer. or I'm so patient or I'm so resilient or I'm so da 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 da. No, guys, I am in an open case and maybe I make this shit look really beautiful, but I'm facing 24 yeah, you years. You don't seem too stressed. Man. Like I'm facing 24 years. I make this shit look beautiful, don't I? But uh, uh, guys, I am actively facing 24 years next month. Wow. Like, this is not no play-play situation. I'm not about to... I've been in this for three years. I've never played internet games with you guys, and I'm not going to start now. At number two, NCAC six legal part to sanction reality TV show. The Director General of Nigerian Council of Art and Culture, Shegun Rushewa, has made an appeal to the House of Representatives to empower the Investigative Council in order that the council is able to sanction popular reality TV show for a moral and unethical display by the housemates over time. Speaking before lawmakers, the Director General said, and I quote, I was the first person who reported a popular TV show to NBC, emphasizing to them how rich we on this side are in our culture. In such a way that respects our country's integrity. This honorable house just needs to empower us with just a legal framework and this nonsense will stop. End of quote. At number one, Mo Bad responds to intoxication claims by label boss. Nigerian singer Mo Bad earlier shared on his social media platforms major details of a supposed assault on him by his label teammates for requesting for a new manager. Responding to his label signing's claim, Naramali in a live video said, and I quote, Mo Bad has a history of getting intoxicated which affects his emotions and actions. End of quote. Reacting to Naramali's claims, Mo Bad on his Twitter handle said, and I quote, I am not intoxicated, but I have just been diagnosed as an emergency hypertensive patient. I am not on drugs or drinks, and my life is at stake. I'm still getting threats. End of quote. Assuring fans that the issue will be resolved in due time, Naramali said, all issues would be resolved amicably within the record label. Hmm. This is not the first time we're witnessing this, and we only hope that they're able to fix things. Do you know what I mean? And that's why I was saving him yesterday, because I know he's not in the vibe. 
state of mind. That's why I'm, all the thing is doing to everybody is not in the right state of mind. Mm -hmm. But you guys are. That's why would you? Why would you buy to the argument already that he does not want his manager anymore? It's because he's not in the right state of mind. That's what I'm trying to explain, bro. You, you guys, guys are not understand. No, but he's yeah. not in the right state of mind. Everything he's saying now. So, he, so he saw that I was on live. But he did not want to join the life. I'm not gonna. His life is not in danger now. His dad is there. So, so we last time, he mentioned someone was spiritual. Someone was more clear was spiritual last time. Someone was someone was spiritual. It's not that, bro. But the thing is, the people around him now. I wish I can be around him. I can easily help, bro. But the people around him now, yeah, I don't think they should be letting him. See. We have now come to the end of today's edition. Here is a gentle reminder to kindly follow us on all our social media platforms for more details. Thanks for tuning in and bye for now.